global governance challenges and necessities, I want to uh, talk about leadership and values. Leadership as <coughs> about challenge, because leadership has to be a different type of leadership that we used to know. Uh, we were too much refining Machiavellistic way of leadership, and especially in political arena and in business arena as well. At the same time, I want to talk about necessity, and what necessity I see is something which we call values. And uh, Alberto opened the debate this morning with actually pointing out the word values. I would like you, if it is possible, to, to just think while we are, and on the end, I will just collect it. Give me just three words that you think that are defining leadership that is needed in time ahead of us. Is it creativity? Is it courage? Is it position? Is it being CEO? Is it love? Is it passion? Is it values? Is it vision? Is it persistence? Is it innovation? Is it knowledge? Is it, just give a word. Give me three words. What you think are the three key words that are defining leadership that we need, not the leadership that we have, a leadership that is needed. Three words. Three words. Plus, plus, by looking for three words, you will feel in the moment that you would need more <laughs> words. So give me additional two. So give me three for sure, and give me the additional two. Let's say starting basketball lineup, okay? <laughs> But you know who are three key players in the starting lineup. And then you fill it up with two additional. So you have Jordan Chamberlain, Larry Bird, LeBron, whoever. Uh, so <laughs> I would like to have those. those see, Nowitzki. See, I mean, uh, you will be surprised if we have time and I will collect this. And you will be surprised how many words you will be seeing. And you will be surprised how little words you are sharing to be the words that are actually the words that are finding leadership. I don't know what will happen. Yes, please. Do you want the names of leaders or qualities of leadership? What defines the leadership? What defines it? What, what, are the, what, are the, what are the ingredients of leadership we need? What are the ingredients of the... Of, is it the one? I'm not, I'm not particularly talking about one. I'm talking about leadership. Maybe leadership, maybe the key word is team, for example. So I'm talking about leadership. I'm not talking about what are the, what are the, maybe among those three or maybe among those five is the word team. I have no clue because we will see what we will come to. Because basically speaking, what I think it is very important to a little bit more focus. Why? Because we are looking for new era. We are looking, we are all saying that we are witnessing the time of greatest changes. And we are trying to find out what, how institutions will look like in the time that is in front of us. So that's the reason in a time of changes, the role of leadership is much, much more important than in stable times. In history. We, in history, of course. I mean, uh, for example, if you have, Mumira, uh, uh, if you have uh, stable institutions, if you have a traditional society which is relatively stable in cultural sense, then the role of leadership is not so important. Like in, a, in changing times. Like in the countries that are, especially in the countries which are going through either three of potential changes. One is reforming. If they want to reform, which basically means that you are keeping the same system, but you want to do fine tuning. Or do you want to do transition? Which means, basically speaking, that you are from one state, from capitalism, or from market to economy, you are going to regulate the economy. Or from state-run economy, you are going to market economy. So this is called transition. You know where you go. This is not reform. You don't keep the same system, right? Yeah. And the third thing is transformation. Transformation is actually you are changing, and you are changing in something which you basically don't know what it will be. You think it will be something better, but you still don't know what it is, right? So as a human beings, we are transforming through evolution. We are not transforming. Because we don't, oh, we're not reforming. We are reforming in our lifetime. But we as a, as a humanity, as a human beings, as a society, we are actually transforming. And this is time of great transformations. 
And we don't know where we're going to, if it will be us at all. It will be, someone spoke about information technologies, communication, communication technologies, role of technology, bio nanotechnologies, about artificial intelligence. There were some of you who were talking about artificial intelligence. I think, personally, I think that uh, my favorite story is about the role of technology as a story about four American technology presidents. First one is Roosevelt, who actually threw the fire chat radios addressing the people. He got second elections without campaigning, right? So he was called first American technology president. The second one was Kennedy. We know the famous story with TV debate. The third one was Obama with internet. The fourth guy was, uh, or still is, with Twitter. Now we found out that he was actually using uh, Oxford Analytica, which is a combination of big data and elements of artificial intelligence. So who will be the fifth American technology president? Or what technology it will be? Or is that going to be technology that will be used by people? Or is technology being the one who will be deciding who will be the president? Or maybe we will have... Technology by, use, by technology. Or maybe, or maybe technology will be the next president, right? I hope not. And so, of course we hope not. But that's the reason why I think that the role of leadership and the values is... And to close this very beginning, uh, to open you up, I think that... Uh, I'm, in, I, I'm interest, insisting very much on the values, especially I think that one of the biggest problems is to define what is the value that we do share, or that we should share. This morning was a discussion about traditional values in one country values, but we have to have a certain set of values which should be agreed upon all if we want to proceed in shared future with shared leadership and some kind of shared society which we are all different in very shared one global society. And my first starting point for the values that everyone should accept is if you don't know where to go, you can go to some place that everyone has. And everyone has some kind of connection with some of the great religions. Some people are saying that in top 20 global religions, there's one word, one sentence that is in every book, which is do not do to others what you do not want others to do to you. So let's start with that. Let's start as a, that as a, as a core value. I'm not insisting that we discuss, but I'll get you back to the leadership. So my point is very simple. I would very be happy if you could give me that, and I will feed. I'll do feed, feedback with you during the course of this course, maybe hopefully today, uh, because I do really think that uh, leadership will strongly be defining: Are we going anywhere, or are we going to be stuck, or we will spend the rest of our life in? discussions about what we should do. And then at the end of the day, we will know what we should do, but it will be too late. Because it will be done without us. And at the end of the day, we should not care so much about the planet, because the planet will be OK, especially if we are not around. So, so we should not worry. We should worry about us. We should worry about us. And us is something that is someplace behind the horizon. It has to be shared future. It has to be, we have to be shared society with shared values, and we have to have shared leadership. And that's the reason why I would like to collect ingredients of uh, all those elements of the leadership that we need for the topic, of course, global governance, challenges, and opportunities, right? And by the way, in this paper, in this paper, I tried to find in paper, in titles, even in the questions that were put in here, in two, three lines, there are two words that I didn't find at all. I didn't find the word leadership, and I didn't find the word values. So that is exactly the reason why I was pointing out these two things. So thank you. Thank you.